NCTV, you worked <coughs> very closely with Native Canadians, John Candy and Martin Short. Yeah. Since John Candy left us way too early and you were a close friend of his, could you describe what was so special about him and possibly a funny story about him? Wow. Well, John was you know he was a sweetheart he was like a he was truly one of the funny funny guys naturally funny he was ju he was great he was great at second city um he had i think john's quality as an actor as a comedian as a funny person he had the ability to for somehow his true persona transcended the screen he who he really was kind of came through in everything that he did. And it was always kind of, he left a lovable kind of imprint, you know, no matter what it was, Trains and Planes. You know, w w the greatest film I think he ever did, and Uncle Buck was a great film. But to me, Trains and Planes was, the, was just the, you know, penultimate. And again, Uncle Buck, just a, just a great character. He had that, just that it, kind of an endearing quality and that, that kind of empathetic s side that people could, you know, actually... Uh, see, um, and he was just great. And we we sh we did a lot of stuff together, John and I. We did a lot of stuff together in in our television show. A lot of our characters kind of worked worked together, you know. Whether it was the uh, you know Dr. Tongue and and Woody Tobias, the you know the Hunchback, and and John's Dr. Tongue, uh, and, uh, and and Johnny Larue and Bittman, and and we we did a lot of work there, and we did a lot of movies together as well. Did about five <coughs> movies with John. We shared the same sensibility, I think. We, we just, we gravitated to characters who were not the brightest pencils in the drawer. Uh, it was always funnier to play somebody who just wasn't quite there. You know, not quite getting things when other people get them. Um, and yet, characters that seemed to have a nice little heart ticking under, underneath it all. Uh, and that's why we, we loved working, you know, together. Uh, but uh, John had, well, yeah, I remember in the, I don't know how funny this is, because, you know, when people ask about funny incidents when you're working on a show or doing anything, the reality is a lot of times there's not a lot of funny stories, you know, on a film set. There's not, you know, there's not a lot of pranks and things that go on. On, on a film set, unless you're working with, you know, 14 year olds or something, but, but, but I, you know, even then. But I do remember that we used to, in the early, in the early years in Toronto, we used to go to John's for uh, dinner. Uh, he would say, come on over, we're gonna, we're gonna have a dinner tonight. We, we'd say, well, that's great. And then we'd get there, you know, seven o'clock, and then, you know, we'd have some cocktails, and, uh, and then chit chat, and we'd have some laughs, and then there were more cocktails, and then there were some laughs, and then he'd offer more cocktails, <laughs> and we'd have some laughs. And I, and I happened to notice John, and it's now about 10 o'clock, and I notice he's putting a big turkey in the oven. <laughs> I said, John, uh, how many pounds is that bird? Oh, I don't know, it's about, uh, no, it's about 10, 10, 12 pounds, no, nothing. I said, isn't it, doesn't it take a while? Doesn't it take like 40 minutes a pound or something? No, 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 it'll be, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. We always ate at two in the morning. <laughs> always, and it always happened. We never ate before at midnight, never.